this executive order was, was mean-spirited and un-American. President Trump is blaming his predecessor for his controversial travel ban. On Sunday, the new president said in a statement that his executive order, which suspends travel from seven Muslim-majority countries, is similar to a 2011 measure by former President Barack Obama when he banned visas for refugees from Iraq for six months. But the 2011 situation wasn't a full travel ban. It was a refugee application slowdown brought on by a Kentucky case involving two al-Qaeda terrorists from Iraq found living in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Obama's measure didn't apply to immigrants and tourists. Despite the restrictions under Obama's policy, people were still able to apply for a visa using the regular immigration process, a right not afforded by Trump's executive order, which bans travel from seven Muslim-majority countries for 90 days, among other restrictions. On Friday, January 27th, President Trump signed an executive order banning travelers from Iraq, Iran, Syria, Yemen, Sudan, Somalia, and Libya from entering the United States for 90 days. This administration has hit the ground running at a record pace. Everybody's talking about it.